Hello everyone. In this video, let's see block diagram of 8051 microcontroller. Let us see the features of that. This 8051 microcontroller is a Intel device. Means it is developed by Intel in 1980 with the name MCS51. It is developed for the purpose of using in embedded system devices. This microcontroller 8051 is a 8-bit data device means it is going to process 8 bit of data at a time that's why it is named as 8 bit microcontroller for any device if we are going to call it as a 16 bit microcontroller then it will be able to process 16 bit data at a time now we are calling it as 8 bit microcontroller so 8051 can process up to 8 bit of data at a time and these 8051 MCU that is microcontroller unit are widely used in embedded systems, aeronautic, space technology and transportation management systems, robotics, communication, automotive industry and many other fields. This is available in a IC form like this. Now let us look at the block diagram of this and let us see what are all the main components present in this 8051 IC. So this is the block diagram where you can see CPU. CPU is a central processing unit. This CPU consists of ALU. So we are calling it as an 8-bit microcontroller and this CPU is able to process the 8-bit data we say. So this CPU will be consisting of ALU. This ALU is going to do arithmetic and logical operations and those operations are going to be performed on the 8-bit data. That's why CPU is capable of doing 8-bit processing we say. For that processing we require a clock signal. That clock signal will be provided by a crystal oscillator. So this oscillator is going to provide the clock signal of 12 mega edges or 12 megahertz what we say. This is about the oscillator which is there inside the 8051 IC. So for this CPU we need to connect two buses. One is the data bus another one is the address bus or we say for the instructions as well as for the data so those two buses are controlled by the bus controller there is a bus controller device here that will control the instruction bus or the address bus and the data bus since we say 8 bit microcontroller the data bus will be of size data bus of size 8 bit and address bus of size 16 bit so address bus will be 16 bit so it will handle 16 bit of addresses data bus is 8 bit so it will handle 8 bit of data and you can see here 4 kilo byte of ROM is there it is inbuilt or we say on chip 4 kilo byte of ROM is there to handle the program or to store the program inside the chip this is read only memory it will contain the program are the instructions what we say and 128 byte of ram is there this will be there to store the data ram is going to store the data and rom is there to store the program and these two are inbuilt or we say it is on chip memory these are two on chip memories and there are four io ports you can see here p0 p1 p2 p3 these four io ports are having 8 pins each 8 8 8 8 so totally 32 bit ios we have input and output pins so you can use 32 bit pins as input and output ports out of these four ports first two will be used for address or data communication when we are using that for address it is 8 plus 8 16 bit when we are using for data 8 bit we can use and also we will be having a serial port for external communication so when we are going to connect external device this serial port is going to be used you can see here it is consisting of two pins one is transmitting data pin another one is receiving data pin. suppose any device connected here we need to transmit the data from the microcontroller we need to make use of txd or we need to get the data from the external device we need to connect through rxd this communication is full duplex. Full duplex means at a time transmission and reception can be happen. So this full duplex serial port 
will be supporting the serial communication to the external device and also we will be having two timers you can see here timer 1 and timer 0 these two timers are helpful in the processing of the information in the CPU and these two timers can also be used as counters by using the counter inputs this is about the main blocks present in the 8051 block diagram and also we have an interrupt control this is very important thing the external interrupts interrupt means when the some process is going on when execution is going on if there is any external process command interrupt the execution that will be handled by the interrupt controller there are five interrupts here in 8051 microcontroller out of those two are external interrupts you can see here two lines two are external interrupts and there are three internal interrupts we can say or we say software generated interrupts are internally the system is going to use those out of those three two are software generated interrupts related to these timers and one is through the serial communication or the serial port interrupt so totally five interrupts are there out of these five two are external interrupts we are going to represent it as int0 and int1 and other two are related to the timers and one related to the serial port and we have 4k on chip rom that is for storing the program or the instructions and 128 byte ram is there that is for data and there is a bus control we have 16 bit address bus 8 bit data bus and this alu or the cpu is capable of handling 8 bit data at a time and also we have registers we have not shown over here these registers are going to be storing able to store 8 bit of data sometimes and also some 16 bit registers are there that will be storing 16 bit of information like address so that detailed diagram is going to give you the more information will be called as architecture of 8051 this architecture we need to understand in the next video with these specifications there are extra registers you can see over here accumulator a and b register and also program counter and data pointer and there is a PSW register and a stack pointer with a stack register and with this we have seen this we have seen and these are 32 bit uh, 32 pin IOs and two 16 timer are counters and full duplex communication and there are control registers you can see over here and also the interrupts so let us see these control registers and also these registers in the architecture diagram in the next video thank you